Tensions have been growing between Hassan Sheikh Mohamud and his Prime Minister. Abdul Ali Sheikh Ahmed upset Mohamud with a recent reshuffle and now faces a possible no confidence motion in Parliament. The UN fears the standoff could undermine the country's recovery. Over the weekend, the UN envoy to Somalia, Nicholas Kay, offered to help the Somali leaders reach a mutually satisfactory compromise. He added, I am concerned about allegations of some MPs being asked to exchange votes for cash in the context of a potential no confidence motion. European Union representatives share his concerns. But President Mohamud says Somalia should be allowed to lead its own transformation. He said, the best way to support Somali leaders and institutions is to respect and allow them to resolve the differences through legitimate means and within the existing and maturing institutions. Kay's comments have also upset local politicians. The envoy has discredited the honor and dignity of the Somali parliamentarians while relying on baseless rumors. It's very undiplomatic. It was inflammatory and unbecoming of a, of a, of a, of a, of a UN uh, uh, envoy. Um, um, uh, it, it has to be noted that uh, Nicholas Kay is an, is an ambassador. He's not a Somali citizen. Um, we understand there are some issues that have to be dealt with, but our institutions are very mature. Somalia has changed its prime minister nearly every year in the last decade. Ahmed's predecessor, who was impeached only 11 months ago, paid the price for falling out with President Mohamud. And now political analysts say it's likely that Ahmed faces a similar fate in parliament. The problem is that the constitution does not define the responsibilities and powers of the president and those of the prime minister. They are all entangled, so a review of the constitution must happen. Somalia's constitution stipulates the president and prime minister come to office through a party system. Still, Somalia's political culture dictates the two must come from different clans. Mohamed Hirmogi, CCTV, Mogadishu.